All right. On the left-hand side, we have our Vocaloid 1 that we've been working on in this series with a motif and a reflected motif. And when they play together, they sound like this. The, and we've done Vocaloid 2 and 3 with variations on that. What we wanted to do is extend this. So on the right-hand side, we have Vocaloid 4. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Vision and Sound Part 21, Dances. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that our driver in this series continues to be to create based on our own voice as well as the voices of others. With the Vocaloid series, we started out when in a 7-4 uh, time signature over here and then we went through and selectively shortened measures. In Vocaloid 4 we have basically refactored all that and now we're in a 4-4 and we have no funky measures. However, it reminded us of our other technique of using fermatas to make a note sound longer even though it's still one bar. Eventually you have to go back and update your annotation, but it's a quick hack to adjust timing, which you can adjust later. Um, we wanted to extend the Vocaloid series, which is like 30 seconds or something, and we're shooting for four and five minute type of pieces, and uh, we have mixed feelings about just repeating something over and over to make it longer. Uh, basically, uh, because we have strong feelings about sustaining interest over time, including complexity uh, not, uh, and, and variation. So straight repetition tends to pall on us. So anyway, in this episode, we continued working with the Vocaloid series, and we made the Vocaloid 4 score, which is what we're going to play for you now and focus on. The key thing that we did to move this forward was we took uh, we took all the parts of Vocaloid 1, which had a motif and a reflected motif, and like we said, was maybe 30, 40 seconds long, and then we separated them. So uh, this upper line here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1 reflected, 2 reflected, 3 reflected, 4. So we... We basically doubled it by taking the bottom and inserting it in the top. Then we put that into Reaper. So the original piece sounds like this. Now those are one and two. Now the reflected pieces are over here on the same line. So we have that nice long piece uh, that's like 65 bars. So what we did is we then copied it and offset it and played it against itself to see if it sounded good or not. So there we said, well, the first overlap didn't sound so good, so we muted it. Uh, and then the second overlap sounded great, so we unmuted it. That would help if we just did this. Then, further along, we found a part that we thought sounded really cool. Very fugish. So when we get to that part over here, uh, we unmuted it and let it rip. So that's how we, uh, and we, we actually did a lot of different offsets in Reaper, which are a lot quicker to do in Reaper if you can get the measures and the pieces marked correctly. So we had to 
that's we call that the stripped vocaloid form because you had to take out the the pickup bar and the ending and just overlap things and see what these sounded like. So here is Vocaloid 4 as it currently stands for your listening pleasure. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about this piece is we got it up to 90 seconds. We like that the top line is straight through, no repetition. That's parts 1, two, one through 12 and 1 reflected through 12 reflected. So each of those phrases is, is unique. And we also like that we could reuse those phrases in a complex way by over laying them and then selectively muting things and so something sounded cool. Also, it sounds cool that it sounds fugish in the middle. Our ideas for next time are to double check the Vocaloid 4 for length effect and maybe further development. And our good old friend to be determined, we have a shout out to Darlene who stopped by. Thank you. And Quiet Constructive Builder that kept us going here methodically and as always, Sl silent lurker, not slyant. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming. <laughs>